Hello, we're here in Toronto at the final day of the CHEST Annual Conference, and I'm here with Dr. David Lynch. Um, Dr. Lynch, I understand there's been some new guidelines from the Fleischner Society. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Uh, well, you know, there have been established guidelines for the diagnosis of IPF for several years now, and those guidelines are very helpful in implementing clinical trials and ultimately successful trials for two new drugs for treatment of IPF. Mm -hmm. But over the past six years, we've learned a lot about this disease, uh, and we felt it was time for the members of the Fleischner Society to update the diagnostic criteria. And so uh, we produced this paper, which w is in press in Lancet Respiratory Medicine. Hopefully, will be published in the next month. The paper offers several updated criteria for the diagnosis of IPF. In particular, uh, it recognizes a category of probable UIP on CT, uh, which has a very high predictive value for diagnosis of UIP. And secondly, the term inconsistent with UIP is no longer being used and we will just use the term suggestive of an alternative diagnosis. We anticipate that those changes, among others, will result in uh, the greater ability of patients to get treatment for IPF, often without a surgical lung biopsy.